are headed out to Duskany Shores today to drill a well. So we are fixing to leave the shop now. And I don't know, we're gonna go to the job site and see what it looks like. We made it to Duskany. <laughs> they still got gravel roads here in this subdivision. Tracy says we gotta go all the way to the back. Right, so we are here at the lot. These are all lake lots, so they're all kind of downhill, minimal room, not a lot of spot to move around. And this little blue flag over here is gonna be our well location. Luckily, I don't have any tree limbs above me, so I'm good there. I do have this unfortunate pile of dirt here, so I'm gonna have to back my truck in kind of right here. and. All the grade of the land is kind of sloping downhill. All of this is downhill. I got to get that truck to move before I can get my truck in here. All right, yeah, old drill rig's leaning. You can kind of tell it. Things don't ever seem as bad on camera as they are in real life. She definitely. Definitely heavy downhill on the wrong side, on the rod side. All right, we're gonna get this thing crunk up. Mike's getting a water truck in spot right now. Then we're gonna get some wood under this thing. We got our pads all set up. Hopefully we got them nice and level compared to the angle of the land. We got these back here. The amount, of, the amount of angle we're dealing with here. We'll see once we fire it up if it makes it level.
All right, well, we have started the grouting process. Today's grout's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna do it in the middle of the day rather than at the end of the day. We have got 50 foot of trimmy pipe on the end of that hose. We have to do 50 foot of grout. So because we had set 67 foot of casing, we wanna make sure that the casing is seated and sealed. So that's why we put the grit around it and uh, I drill one drill rod. Typically one drill rod's worth of cuttings is about 10 to 12 feet of you know hole there. Um, we were 17 feet past the mandatory 50 foot grout. So we're gonna have a little bit more than 50 foot grout here, which will be fine. Um, I believe it's a holiday. Uh, we're supposed to have an inspector. The inspector says, hey, go ahead. We know y'all do it right. So that's what we're doing. Um, they're not even gonna show up here but uh you never know they might they might they might just tell you that and they'll still show up but uh I have no idea what time it is all I know is it's lunchtime all right we got the grout to the top looks good we're gonna go ahead and cover it up so we don't lose it yeah we make these little custom sheets of uh, sheet aluminum that way it protects the grout from getting washed away by the drill are currently at around 285 uh, the end of this rod will be at 305 not really sure how much water we got yet but I just wanted to <clears throat> take a little quick walk down around the back of the house and just show you show you what it looks like here it's really really windy today but it's absolutely gorgeous check that out what an absolutely beautiful view. So these docks are kind of crazy. Each section is like a thousand dollars per foot. So it's like the section I'm walking on here is about 40 grand <laughs> or something like that. And then this would be like a $30,000 section here because it's 30 foot long. So crazy thing what I like to do on my weekends uh, during the summertime is I'll get on my jet ski and I like to run the rivers back here on the lake I'll go like main town is that way main lake but out here when the water is really low all this there's like two main channels here that used to feed the lake and way over there see if my finger right there I can come out right at that point there and uh, that's all the way from where I live. And I'm, I'm like 17 miles from my work. But right now, we're on the opposite side of the lake. And that's the spot where I come out running Aaron's Creek. That's a blast. I love running the jet skis up the rivers and up the creeks. It's like riding a four-wheeler, but on water. So this is gonna be kind of a sketchy spot because uh, they don't really have deep water out here. But what they do have, they do have a really nice dock. This is sweet. This thing is going to be under a severe amount of load, man. They've got to have, uh, they must have some sort of like weight system. I can tell it feels like there's a lot of stress on the dock just due to the wind. Look at the old dock sitting there. That's probably somebody's dock that's done blown away. It's so windy. Yeah, you can look at that cable right there and see how tight that is. Yeah, look at that. Really, really windy out here today. I could tell last night when I got home, I could tell that I was sunburned for the first time this year. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. All I do is burn once and then I tan. <laughs> 
Gotta watch out for melanoma though. Can't get enough skin cancer. Cool. All right, I'm gonna head back up to the to the rig. I've got five more rods to go. Hopefully we've got enough. If we cut it to 400 foot, or maybe we'll hit more water. Who knows? I think I might have a gallon a minute up around the 100 foot mark. And at 2:45. I had turned the camera on because I thought I was going through another spot that might have produced a little bit of water, but nothing considerable. We'll, we'll figure that part out once we drill deep enough to get ourselves some storage. So I'll catch back up with you once we get a little bit deep. We're all finished, got it all laid over. Finished uh, 385, makes some great water, very happy. It's hard to find water this close to the lake, but um, yeah, it turned out good. I'm just sitting here, filling out my paperwork and doing my tag, finishing that. I gotta get GPS location, and then uh, we'll be able to get out of here. We've been dealing with like 30 and 40 mile an hour winds all day. It is, it is horrendous. Like there was like a little twister going on in the front driveway. Ugh, terrible. All right, I'm gonna finish doing this. Oh. Man, what a day, what a day. The wind was so bad. Me and Justin were just talking. Like my face hurts, my lips are chapped. It's crazy I didn't film as much as I could have today um, it's just it was just kind of miserable all this dust and then the wind coming off the lake it was just uh, not fun to deal with but um, I did get quite a bit of footage so I don't really know how long this video will be but if you've made it to this point go ahead and hit that like button I know so many people watch these videos and forget to smash the like button like button if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. The algorithm will only work if people who view my content remember to hit the like button. I know it's, I, I'm guilty of it. I have my favorite YouTubers that I watch and I just watch through their video. And a lot of times until this point to where I've remembered and you know had this you know point of view on it, I will go back to their video and make sure I like it after I watch it if I forget. But I just, you know, that's all I ask of y'all. It really helps to motivate me when I see that, you know, 5,000 people liked my video and, you know, 70,000 people watched it. That's that's a terrible percentage rate, but 5,000 likes is hard to get, believe it or not. But just want to thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you have any uh, questions or inquiries, drop them in the comment section below. See y'all later.